one is called Sky Red Team Preparation by Death by Explosion Tuesday. But 30 minutes past sirens, we realized they were watermelons. Thousands of them. Falling from altitudes that no baby melon ever dreamed of at Farmer Jack's career luncheon. The flies tipped us off. But not at first. They always came out for fresh corpses in today's housing market. You can't pass up such real estate with growing families at all. But no, these ones were smaller, nattier, and Billy, little bandaged Billy, pantomimed his mummy fingers, and Sarah shouted, fruit flies. And so they were, and so it had. We laughed when we saw the napalm and sticky nectar. What would you do? Later we learned of salvation. God sent clerical errors, alphabetical flip-flops of M&Ms. The menu munitions mix-up led to our green-striped missiles in the Army's aptly named mess hall. Unsuspecting privates dug plastic forks into dynamite rinds, and kablooey! Dust settled into liquid too dark for summer's innocent picnic. Race wars, I was a part of that prepubescent post spell youth club once. Of course, we learned that behind every great man there is a greater woman, a taller woman, one who rallies his troops while sidestepping lame-footed sashaying steeds, horseshoes shaped like L's. She always returns to his side, moments before readjusting his stupid hat with its gangly cross, but hey, what's love without a little sacrifice? What's love without stupid hats, stupid squares, and pawning off your children in hopes of contented futures, or at least that 2.5 gigahertz symphonic sound surround, symphonic surround sound by Dolby, you've been eyeing since your neighbor's bold gambit, split-screen, widescreen television seen through the kitchen window, the sterile glows of other families filtered through screen door seams makes the souls of your ancestors, not Grandpa Bill, but your real ancestors, bare-toothed, fur-clad warriors who cut knives of stone, not statuettes, cry out within your ivory fibers and bellow, this is not what we survived for. And then, this is one I wrote last night, and it's called Ranger Eric's Bison. <laughs> This barn is made of limestone, of bricks, of tiny corpses of what must be kilobytes. Mm. No, trilobytes, those little prehistoric lobsters, right? Damn it, even out here in the great beyond, beyond cellular shackles and Wi-Fi fetters, I've still brought my bits of techno baggage. Prairie, crack open my phone and uncork the ethernet cording from my temple, transform me into that of the bison, content with eating till I'm sleepy, sleep until I'm hungry, make a baby bison. <laughs> Thank you.